Hello everyone, this is Sir Marvin Bertido. So for today's topic here in Geotechnical Engineering 1, we're going to discuss uh, plasticity chart. Okay, so this is still under Chapter 2. So for this topic class, we're going to uh, discuss the uh, concept for plasticity chart and we're going to solve sample problems. Okay, let's start. Okay, so let's now talk about the plasticity chart. So Casa Grande on 1932, studied the relationship of the plasticity index to the liquid limit of a wide variety of natural soils. On the basis of the test results, he proposed a plasticity chart as shown in figure 4.19. So makita natin kasi itong chart na to, itong x-axis is para sa liquid limit and then yung plasticity index is nandito sa uh, y-axis, no? So, kung meron tayo class value for liquid limit saka plasticity index, so ipaplot lang natin yun dito sa chart na to and kung saang region siya class matapat class, uh, yun yung magiging uh, parang ano, no classification ng soil na yun according dito sa plasticity chart na to. So, itong plasticity chart na ito class na hati ito sa anim na regions so ito, 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 ito. Okay, so itong region na to class nakalagay dito class yung uh, classification ng soil uh, na yan, para dyan. So, yan ay inorganic silt of high compressibility and organic clay. So, para naman dito, yan ay organic clay of high plasticity. And then, para naman dito, inorganic silt yan of medium compressibility and organic silt. And then, para naman dito, inorganic clay of medium plasticity. Para dito, so ito yon yung darkest na gray, inorganic silt of low compressibility and then ito naman, inorganic clay of low plasticity. So, eto class, yung puti na ito, so yan na ay para sa mga cohesionless soil. Okay, so class, yung inorganic at saka organic clay at saka silt na nabanggit dito. So, ang soil kasi class, mixture yan ng organic at saka inorganic constituent. Okay, so kapag class inorganic yung components ng soil natin, so yung soil component na yun class, it come from the weathering of various rock types. Kapag naman organic class, no, so yan ay organic due to the presence and the composition of plant and animal matter in the area. Okay, so class, the important feature of this chart is the empirical A line that is given by the equation PI is equal to 0 0.73 times LL minus 20, wherein, wherein yung PI, plasticity index yan, yung LL, liquid limit yan. So class, ito yung A line. Ito. So yung equation ng line na to class is ito nga, PI is equal to 0 0.73 times LL minus 20. Ayan. So class, um, yung A line na yan, it separates yung inorganic clay. So yung inorganic clay is itong nasa itaas. So ito ay above the A line. And then yung mga below class sa A line, ito naman yung mga inorganic silts. So inorganic clay ito, ito naman inorganic silts. Okay, so class, uh, uh, dito naman class below A line, tapos yung liquid limit niya, if it ranges from 30 to 50, so ito yung class yung region na binabanggit dyan. Okay, so below A line, tapos yung liquid limit nagre-range from 30 to 50. So itong region na ito class ay para sa organic silt, Okay, so at saka organic si inorganic silt of medium compressibility. So nakalagay din naman dito actually. Ito ho, organic silt tapos inorganic silt of medium compressibility. Okay, and also class para dun sa region below the A line tapos yung liquid limit niya greater than 50. So ito yon. No, below A line tapos yung liquid limit greater than uh, 50. So, itong region na to class ay para sa organic clay, okay, and inorganic silt of high compressibility. No? Okay, so class, the information provided in the plasticity chart is of great value and is the ba basis for the classification of fine grain soils in the unified soil classification system. So class, itong um, soil classification using unified soil classification system, pag-uusapan natin yan class doon sa next chapter no, ng discussion natin. Okay. Okay. So note that a line called the U line lies above the A line. So class makikita mo dito na above this A line, meron din tayong isa pang line dito. Ito 'yan. So class itong line naman na to, ito ay tinatawag na U line. Okay, so the U line is approximately the upper limit of the relationship of the plasticity index to the liquid limit for any currently known 
uh, soil. So the equation for the U line can be given as PI is equal to 0 0.9 times LL minus 8. So kung yung PI uh, A line class, ito yung equation. No? Ito namang U line class, ito yung equation. 0 0.9 times LL minus 8. Okay. So class, there is another use for the A line and the U line. Casa Grande has suggested that the shrinkage limit of a soil can be approximately determined if its plasticity index and liquid limit are known. No, so this can be done in the following manner with reference to figure 4.20. So ulitin ko class. So class, kapag tayo ay may plasticity index at liquid limit, no, using this plasticity chart, no, pwede natin class malaman yung shrinkage limit. So i-discuss natin yan sa succeeding slide natin. Okay, so class, to determine the uh, shrinkage limit using the plasticity chart and the given liquid limit and plasticity index. So, ito yung mga steps class na gagawin natin. So, the first one, we have to plot the plasticity index against the liquid limit of a given soil such as point A in figure 4.20. So, let's say class na yung given soil natin, yung liquid limit niya at saka plasticity index kapag pinlat natin nandito. Okay, nandito sa point A. Okay, so after that class, project the A line and the U line downward to meet at point B. So class, what we're going to do, ipoproject natin tong U line. No? And then ito ring A line. So class, hindi naman parallel line ang U line at A line. So merong point kung saan class magmi-meet yung U line at saka A line. So yung point na yun class where they will intersect or meet is dito sa point na to. So ito class I point B. So itong point B class will have the coordinates of LL is equal to negative 43.5 and PI is equal to 46, negative 46.4. So actually, itong uh, value ng liquid limit at plasticity index at this point class, no, yan ay sinol. No, so pwede natin class masolve yung point na yan since yan class ay intersection no, ng dalawang uh, lines natin. So we can use yung equation ng lines natin class no, to solve for this point. Okay, so to solve for this point class, we're just going to solve the uh, two equations nung line natin. So, yung equation nung U line natin, which is ito, and then yung equation nung A line natin, which is ito. So, we're just going to solve these two equations simultaneously. No, pwede mong gamitan yan ng substitution, pwede mong gamitan yan ng elimination, or kung ano man. No, and then you are going, you can um, solve yung LL at saka PI by doing so. So, yung lalabas class na LL, negative 43.5, yung PI, negative 46.4. Okay, so, class, uh, yan na actually yung mga values, no, nitong point B. So, after natin malaman yung value ng point B na yan, so, for the third step, join points A and B, no, with a straight line. So, yung point A natin, ito yung, uh, yung given soil natin, no, yung corresponding na liquid limit at plasticity index. So, nandito yung point na yun. So, i-coconnect lang natin, class, by a straight line, itong point A at saka point B. No, and then, this will intersect the liquid limit axis at point C. So class, itong straight line na to class, dadaan siya dito sa may axis for the liquid limit, right? So yung, yung point class na dadaanan niyan ay itong point na to. So class, itong point na to, no, yung abscissa nitong point C na ito class, okay, or yung x-coordinate class nitong point na to, yung class ay estimated as the shrinkage limit. Okay, so ganun class natin kinukuha yung shrinkage limit using the plasticity chart and with the given liquid limit and plasticity index. Okay. So let's solve sample problem here class. Using the plasticity chart with the given soil having the following properties. Yung liquid limit 70%, plasticity index 20%. So determine the classification of soil using plasticity chart and uh, we are going to determine also the shrinkage limit. So, for our given, ang tayong liquid limit na 70%, PI na 20%. So, class for letter A, para dun sa classification ng soil uh, based on uh, plasticity chart. Okay, so ipaplat lang natin class yung LL at PI doon sa um, ano natin, plasticity chart. So, yung LL 70, so mga banda dito, yung PI 20, so mga banda dito yung point. No, so, andito class yung uh, 70 20. So class, uh, kung mapapansin mo, ito ay nag-fall uh, down dito sa region na ito. No? So ito class ay nasa inorganic silt of high compressibility and organic clays. 
So, ito na class yung classification ng soil na to using plasticity chart. Okay, now for letter B, we are going to determine the shrinkage limit. So, to determine the shrinkage limit, yung solution 1 natin, we are going to use the plasticity chart. Okay, so what we're going to do here, class, meron tayong given na liquid limit at saka plasticity index. So, ipa-plot natin yon. So, nandito yun, class, yan ay 70 yung liquid limit, tas 20 yung plasticity index. So, yung point ay nandito. So, what we're going to do, class, is uh, i-coconnect natin, class, itong point na to papunta dun sa point B. Okay, so alam na natin, class, yung coordinates ng point B, ha, yan ay LL, negative 43.5, PI, negative 46.5. So, i-coconnect natin yan, class, uh, with a straight line or, or by a straight line. Ito yun. So, class, yung point na madadaanan niya sa liquid limit axis, nandito. Nandito banda. So, class, yung x-coordinate or yung abscissa ng point na yan, class, ida-determine natin. No, kasi, class, yung y-coordinate dito, alam na natin, zero siya eh. Taba, zero siya. So, class, yung solution 1 natin, i-approximate lang natin. ba diba? We are just going to Um, estimate the value nung x-coordinate nitong point na to. So, uh, probably class, no, uh, from this, uh, we can say na hindi siya lalagpas ng 40. Diba? Yung uh, shrinkage limit natin, class, no, um, if you are going to estimate, di siya lalagpas ng 40. Tama? So, siya ay less than 40. So, tingnan natin. So, gamitan natin, class, ng solution 2. So, para sa solution to class, we are going to use the equation of line given two points. So, ito ay napag-aralan mo sa geometry. No? So, ito class ay equation ng line given two points. No? So, yung given na two points natin dyan class is itong point na to, tsaka itong point na to. So, let's just say class na yung y1 at saka x1, yan class yung coordinates no? nung first point natin which is ito. Okay, so yung y dyan class is yung sa plasticity index. No? Yun ay negative 46.5. Yung x naman, uh, liquid limit. No? Ayan, negative 43.5. Para dun sa second points natin class, yun yung para sa x sub 2 at saka y sub 2. Okay, so yung y sub 2 natin, 20. Yung plasticity index yun, ang point na to. Tapos yung um, liquid limit natin, yan yung magiging x sub 2, yan ay 70. Okay, so from here class, Uh, ito ring point na to class, actually, alam natin yung y nito. Tama? Alam natin na yung y nito class ay 0. Tama? So, yung kailangan nating makuha is itong x na to. So, itong x na to class, ito yung shrinkage limit. No? So, at y is equal to 0, yung x ay shrinkage limit. So, gamitin na natin tong equation na to. Okay? So, yung y natin ay 0. Yung y sub 1 ay negative 46.5. Yung y sub 2, 20. Ito. Yung y sub 1, negative 46.5. x sub 2, 70. x sub 1, negative 43.5. Yung x natin, SL. Tapos, x sub 1 natin ay negative 43.5. So, solving for SL class, so, the value will be 35.86%. Okay. So, class, we can also use solution 3. So, this is just uh, interpolation using calculator technique. Okay. So, since ito class ay straight line, Okay, so, class, ito ay mode 3, 2, ha? So, hindi LNX yung gagamitin natin dito. Ang gagamitin natin dito, class, ay A plus BX. So, mode 3, 2 ito. Sige, try natin. So, mode 3, 2. Okay, and then, input natin itong mga data natin. So, yung sa, para sa x-axis natin, okay, uh, yan yung sa mga value ng liquid limits natin. Negative 43.5. And then, yung ikalawa, 70. Para naman dito sa plasticity index, para yan sa y-axis. No? And then, negative 46.5 yung para sa unang point. Para sa second point, 20. So, yung kailangan natin, class I, uh, kapag yung y ay 0, no, kailangan natin isolve yung SL. So, input natin, class, sa x-axis, yung mga liquid limits natin, negative 43.5 at saka 70. Tapos, sa y-axis natin, yung mga plasticity index, negative 46.5, at saka 20. Tapos, press AC, and then shift 1, tapos 5. Ang kailangan natin, plus I, ito. So, yung X hat yung kailangan natin. So, 4 yung i-press mo. And then, before that symbol class, i-press mo plus yung 0. No? Since yan yung kailangan natin. No? So, then, press equals. Ayan. Tapos, class, ang lalabas ay 35.86%. So, yan na class yung magiging shrinkage 
limit natin. So, ito class ay tumugma naman dito sa computation natin using solution 2. And tumugma din naman ito class dun sa may ano, uh, dun sa plasticity chart natin ito. Diba? Itong point na to. So, less than 40 talaga siya. Okay. So, ito na class yung sagot para dito sa problem na to. That ends our discussion class. I hope na natututo ka. So, aral pa tayo mabuti class. See you again. Bye-bye. God bless.